Hey, SK here! Okay, maybe you think I have been trying to be funny all the time. No, I, I wasn't trying. I'm like actually funny. But today, but, but today I'm actually going to talk about something more serious like how to uh, achieve entertainment. I mean, achieve enlightenment. Believe it or not, before I start doing funny, I actually thought I was chasing after enlightenment to the ignorance of, to the exclusion of money and relationships, everything I just gave up for truth. I was trying to looking, I was looking for truth and I searched the Bible, I read it forward and backward and I make a deal with myself that if I find out know, that the biblical God wasn't God then I will stick with the truth, I will just stick with the truth and now I find out that the Bible may be a good metaphor if you don't take it literally. So do the monk actually have answer to how to achieve enlightenment? Um, so they can meditate, okay, I'd like to keep the strong eye contact. So they, they, they meditate, because it makes me look up more authoritative, okay? Like, they meditate, uh, meditation can eventually bring them to a blissful state. So Buddha was successful and he set out to release humankind from suffering and pain, but what he did was he chose meditation. He promoted meditation so people would meditate years after years until they get so detached, they don't even feel pain. It's, for example, there was a monk who was angry with, with his government because he hate them for doing something bad to people or whatever, and he burned himself during the protest. And when he burned himself, he didn't even flinch not moving a single muscle and science just proved also proved that meditation can help us can help us detach from pain and our emotion or monkey brain or whatever but is that in itself an achievement but is that enlightenment by on its own i also have read the bible backward and forward and eventually i become a self-made fundamentalist and I kind of like confess my sins every day to God like 10 or 15 times. I keep sinning. I just keep sinning. Before I did this fun, do this funny business on YouTube and stand-up comedy, I was trying to pursue those like spiritual higher thing. And then I kind of regret not experiment more. And then I gave, sort of gave up on reproduction and practice absolute absten abstinence for many, many years. And it made me very intense because you, when you practice abstinence, all your testosterone and sex drive were being focused and channeled toward achievement and all that. And it goes into my muscle. That's why I was so strong at the time and I kind of like beat everyone in arm wrestling. So back to, um, back to meditation and actually the Bible. So in the Bible, there was a Garden of Eden perhaps you know. And I think my conclusion these days after I stop reading the Bible and stop praying is that Bible can be a good metaphor if you don't take it literally. And the Garden of Eden is a metaphor because in the Garden of Eden there were abundance of food and Adam and Eve didn't have to work so hard. They just have to pick fruit all year long which was possible even to these days. You know there was fruit forest around the world like some have hundred if not thousands years of history and the people inside those like fruit garden they just have to pick fruit all year long and the garden sort of like maintain itself through the perfect ecosystem the people who planted those garden those food forests knew what they were doing by planting the right local species that sort of like helping each other like a cir like a circle of ecosystem they were one they were living in harmony and they keep producing food everything is almost edible and how does that relate to suffering what we all I just talked about because human derail from this path and we start those mono agriculture we plan one thing at a time and plan a lot of it and it destroyed the environment, destroyed the soil, it released carbon dioxide when we burn the forest, 
burn the tree, it damaged the environment much more than the other human activities, like more than we farting, more than us driving, and more than us burning oil. Believe it or not, and I just thought, hey, so what happened was because we did that, we destroyed the environment, we create flooding, drought, we create uh, like famine, and then, we, and then with that come the locust swarm and all that. It's all related to how we destroy the environment and humans start to fight among each other. Even there were plenty of land back then and we start building nation, we start building war, we start to like fight each other uh, for the land and resources and then there were suffering and poverty and people became slave. So Buddha came so that's why Buddha tried to release human kinds from suffering suffering to begin with. So see like how this Bible and the Buddha relate to each other. Like sort of you can get inspiration from everything from the Buddhism and the Bible, even if you don't take them see like literally and you, tr you 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 practice meditation moderately instead of like some extreme like where you meditate yourself to death. So go back to the so go back to the definition of enlightenment which is the ability to believe in oneself and carry out your belief today there are so many people who believe they were better than anybody else and they compete to become the best believer of the most subscribed ideology such as today people think other people are more misogynist than they are they are always more rape culture than the inner culture and they are the only one who who just outrage for the right reason and every day they were looking for ways to make themselves feel better they feel like if they were born 50 years ago they would oppose hitler or chanza they were the one of those people who do so who do those Hitler sign if they were born in Second World War and today using the keyboard they were like burn the rich burn the rich this guy is bigot this guy is misogynist this guy is like he's like word like virtually a rapist even though it's not proven like there are so many social justice warrior who just cry like burn burn the rich kill him kill this person and that person every day so much hatred and they thought they were Martin Luther King and and he's, and they always like uh, speak on behalf of black people like they knew what it means to be oppressed even though it was a totally different time okay and you aren't even black so stop talking like you knew what they went through or what the problem really was you were not Martin Luther King you just want to be you just want to feel like you were like, the better person and people like you are usually people who were actually racist if you were born in the wrong time. Why did Jesus always compare us with being sheep? Like is it good to be shepherded all the way to this farming system and get our skin shattered? You know, there was one sheep who were who have for seven years escaped being shed. The, the skin and he, he has a, such it becomes such a big ball of fur and I don't think it's natural does is it natural for sheep to grow that much of fur how can you have wild sheep then maybe sheep were not supposed to be wild there were no such thing as wild sheep otherwise they would grow a big ball and they would like overheat the body so Jesus wants us to be big sheep, but I say let's be the big bad wolf, uh, walking alone. As because this is what enlightenment means. You got to stick with the thing that is unpopular in order to change the world. Nothing that is popular and mainstream will ever change the world. Only people who are different can change the world, right? People like Nikola Tesla was very independent like in thought and he invented the AC electricity battle people who always stole his technology and his invention of his time and he predict the future speaking of enlightenment what's more enlightened than an individual who could predict the future the future of mobile phone the future technology of energy transmissions and 
invention like a teleport and death ray no he didn't invent those but i mean that death ray maybe but teleport not yet but he invented a lot of stuff and he has been single he was practicing abstinence so he channeled all his sexual energy into his invention like legend had it that before he invent a machine before he created he already have this whole picture three-dimensional picture in his mind he just he can look at all the details all the thing all the small part before he create those machine and there were people who were so great in their time that they predict the future of first world war 40 years before it began someone predict the sinking of titanic ship 13 years the, the cruise ship 13 years before it was even created and named titanic and there was other like crazy prediction like today there was a guy who says in within a lifetime we will see immortality that's why he has been like consuming supplement every day in hope of living to the point where he can receive an immortality technology but who want to be immortal as a 99 years old right i want to be 25 when by the time they invent immortality so please hurry up one time when i was younger when i was still a christian i uh, i have fast for 40 days like 40 days fasting to seek enlightenment to seek like some kind of kind of miracle and an encounter with god and at the end of 40 days guess guess what i lost weight and I still play basketball on the 12 days of my fast and because I was so strong, right? Did I tell you I beat people in arm wrestling all the time? So I fast for 40 days and guys, don't do it. Please don't do it. Don't do it at home. Don't do it eat anywhere else. It didn't really help you. So the point was uh, I did read the Bible backward and forward back then. And what I did, this was how I guess like link the Garden of Eden that I mentioned early, earlier with Buddhism. So I did have some gain. The thing is, if we all meditate all day and fast all the time, we are messing with our body and our brain. But enlightenment, true enlightenment, is 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 time test. Is test by reality. People who actually improve people life by doing something with their enlightenment by actually contribute to the economy by improving the world making our place a world a better place like Nikola Tesla like people who can predict the future like the first world war people who invent stuff to like extend human's life who uh, who can solve the problem of global warming but guess what Guess what? Our problem is not actually global warming but carbon dioxide. Once they get released to the air through agriculture, right, they go to the ocean and make it acidic. And the sea life suffer and they disappear. They start to disappear. And finally, I want to share some personal experience. People I actually know who have some enlightened experience. Like my friend Keyfog and other YouTuber, one time he has this vision very clearly like Nikola Tesla before he created his machine he saw this video he was about to make are going to reach millions of people his first ever truly viral video and this video okay see the link there link here right link link here and you can you can see that he was very vivid with his vision very clear he described his described the experience as opening of the third eyes and then there were my other friend that like called him Gary he, when he was in university he was res doing research under a professor and then they been working together for so long one night they shared the same dream and Gary next day he went to the professor he said Last night I have a weird dream and I met you, we talked about this and this and the professor was like, yeah, exactly, that actually happened to me too, what did you dream about? And then they compare notes, 
they find out they dream the same dream. They communicate in dream. People who have experience like this usually work so hard in the field and eventually they reach that super like human experience with like the intelligence. They could actually create the future and like do the un in incredible. Which brings me to the point of how to achieve enlightenment. Enlightenment is being achieved by diligently studying in your field, observe, learn, and experiment, create like have mentor in your life that give you great insight and you accumulate those insights, you work with it, you challenge reality with your ideas and get challenged by reality at the same time and eventually you reach incredible insight but it is a journey. It's a journey that never stops. No one could be enlightened enough that they become God. But maybe, maybe human will one day create God. Because I think that like currently there is no God who is interested in communicating with, with human in a very in a proof in a provable ways. There are all kind of holy texts, but they can only be referenced. There are no proof that they were actually written by directly, literally by God themselves. But one day maybe we will create a God. Because all this human history we have been obsessed with God. Maybe we will have create our own self-fulfilling prophecy. Maybe we will create a supercomputer that are biological and connect to all humans consciousness and we can upload our consciousness into a big super consciousness maybe our brain will connect and then we will live forever in that ways and this god will evolve eventually become a omnipotent omnipotent god like super god last note uh, be careful of doing too much meditation and too much spiritual practice because According to my research, by reading this book, Snapping the Sudden Change of Personality of in America, too much uh, spiritual practice in a misguided way can create all kinds of mental illness and brainwash. But hypnosis is not brainwash, right? I have been doing hypnosis for therapy, helping people. And for those of you who think this is creepy, stop being a shippo. Think for yourself, think independently. We are living in a culture full of hypnosis already and hypnotherapy is a way to set you free and appropriate teacher, you know, maybe me, you know, I can help you, I can try, I can try to like provide some like guided meditation and therapy, hypnosis to help people, you know, this is my dream, I want to help people for real, real. So if you want to try hypnosis, contact me the ideas like about predicting the future like how to achieve enlightenment come from the book mastery you have you can find the link here i will encourage you to buy the audio book or buy the ebook the king candle book with my link with my affiliate link when you click it and buy it through this link i make some money and this is a way for me to support this channel while it's still weak but I will do my, do my best to give you 10 times the value for every time you purchase through my affiliate link. So thank you. Make sure you click and like this video. And thank you. I will see you again soon.